All right, guys, to wrap up today's show, John Shrek McPhee, the sheriff of Baghdad, is going to talk about two-point slings and why his is the best. I'm John Shrek McPhee, the sheriff of Baghdad. Today I want to talk about the SOB two-point sling. I learned a long time ago as a young commando that uh, sling was very important to the rifle. When I was in uh, a Ranger and I was in Ranger Battalion, the common mindset back then was, you don't need a sling because you're, you should never set your weapon down. And truthfully, that's right to a certain extent. And it's also not correct to a certain extent. And as a commando, your weapon should always be in your hands. However, there comes a time to where you might have to do something without the weapon, i.e. help out an injured guy. And you need to be able to tighten the rifle to your body. A lot of slings on the market today. I made this sling in... 1997 back in uh, the Bosnia days and um, I realized that I needed a sling that I could contain and that was small inside of small vehicles and when I'm talking about small vehicles I'm talking about small cabs, uh, Yugos, um, any type of small vehicle so I needed a sling that I can contain in the vehicle and I also needed a sling to wear it was simple, it moved with whatever situation I could get in, and then it tightened and loosened very easily. But what I realized was, it's okay to tighten it to your body in a situation where you don't want the rifle beating you, uh, kind of beating you up. But at the same time, if you need to be able to shoot, I need to be able to shoot right now. So I made this sling, and this sling incorporates, I call it quick to shoot technology and uh, it's pretty simple. There's a lot of two-point slings on the market, and also you'll see that two-point slings are probably the most common amongst military guys because it's the best way to control the, the rifle, right? So let me talk to you a little about the sling. The sling, okay, first off, the sling is contained with a uh, combat band, and this sling um, with the combat band is high temp silicone, and these bands, uh, contain my sling inside of small vehicles. And as a commando that's in and out of tiny vehicles all the time, and I'm not just talking armored vehicles, I'm talking minivans and cabs, and I've been in all kinds of vehicles in combat, um, all non-standard kind of stuff. I've always had to contain my sling because you don't want the sling hanging up on the gear shifter or anything. And if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen at the worst time and you don't need that. So I always contain my sling and uh, I made these high temp silicone bands and it holds the sling on the buttstock. So as I store it in the vehicle, it's not gonna hang up on anything. When I get, a, get out of the vehicle, all I have to do is pull the sling out, throw it around my neck and now the sling is good to go. The rear part of the sling is two buckles, goes around the sling. Um, two tri-glide buckles, easy, feed it through the buckles, back on itself, holds tight to the buttstock. Pretty simple. The front, what I have is a, uh, an ALG FSS sling swivel. What I've found uh, throughout my time of making slings is the, uh, the FSS is by far the best QD device there is. Okay. The, the adjusting device here is kind of simple. Pull to tighten, pull the lanyard to release. But the so what about it is it's always next to the firing hand. So it's a little bit harder to tighten to your body if you had to you know, help uh, haul injured or wounded, but it's next to your hand to where if you had to shoot, you could just grab the lanyard, pull, come up, and bring the rifle up to shoot. And this is the quick to shoot technology that I'm talking about. Um, the rifle also has Velcro to contain the sling so the sling doesn't flap in the wind and as you're using it. And another thing is it's breakaway. I can pull the Velcro off and I can tighten it as much as I want, as tight to my body as possible, so I could get it really tight to my body if I had to do other stuff with my hands. Um, the sling, when you adjust the sling, the sling should ride somewhere between your collarbone and, and your chest. So somewhere in here is proper adjustment for the sling. Um, what I see a lot of times is if you're going to wear body armor, you need to adjust the sling with the body armor. And then when you don't have your body armor, just take up a little bit of slack out of the sling. Um, overall, the sling is simple, it's light, it's effective, it adjusts really easy. I'm John Trek McPhee, the Sheriff of Baghdad. This is the two-point adjustable B-sling. 
Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Frostbreed Holsters, Lucid Optics, Bravo Company USA, Nemo Arms, American Tactical, Crisis Application Group, Century Arms, Silencer Co., Primary Weapon Systems, Trigicon, Mayflower Research and Consulting, Closed Captioning provided by Atlantic Marksman Precision, and Trigger Time TV Ammunition provided by Total Ammo. We would like to dedicate today's show to the men and women of the United States military and law enforcement, the people that stand in the gap and keep our country free. God bless America.